Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Minecraft server for free from scratch. Now I did do a video on this a long time ago but it was about making your own Minecraft server with a website called Minehut. But there are certain limitations like there's a limit of how many plugins you can use and your server isn't online all the time. And to get to your server, you have to join their server first and type a command to join in your server. And also, you can't choose the IP of the server. But today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft server without Minehut or any other companies. And you can fully customize it and make it fully your own. Now this will be a video series on how to make your server. So the first video, in this video, we will talk about how to set it up and get it going and connect to your server. And there will be more videos on how to install plugins and how to make it so other people can join from across the world. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you do subscribe and slap that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And if you do subscribe, you'll get notified of when I make a part two, part three, part four. You'll be notified when I upload more videos on the series. So make sure you do subscribe, it's free and it helps me out a lot. All right, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you want to go to your web browser and you wanna type in server jars.com now this website will be in the description all right so once you go to that website you want to scroll down until you see spigot and once you see spigot you can select what version of minecraft you want your server to be so i'm just going to select the latest version as i'm making this video which is currently 1.16.4 so once you find the version you want you just want to press download now, it might say this type of file can harm your computer, but don't worry, it won't. It just warns you for every file that's a .jar file, so it's okay, just press keep. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna make a new folder. You can make the folder wherever you want. I'm just gonna do it on my desktop, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Minecraft Server, and then you just wanna drag your server file here into the folder. Now, as you can see, you have your file in your folder. Now you wanna select this file and you wanna right click and rename it to Spigot. This will just make a lot of things much easier, so make sure you do that. Just name it Spigot. Then what you wanna do is go in your folder, right click, empty space, then go to New, and then press Text Document. Now once you do that, you want to name this Start, press Enter, then what you want to do is go to the description of the video and find the section that says copy and paste and copy that line of code there and then paste it into this text document. It should say all this stuff and now if you guys want to assign more memory or RAM to your server you can change that here. So right now as you can see it says 1G and 1G there so that means 1 gigabyte of RAM. Now you can change that to whatever you want once you do this, you want to press file and then press save as. Then what you want to do is type start and then after start, this is very important, make sure you type dot bat. So make sure you do start dot bat or else this will not work. So once you type that, just press save and then exit out of this and you should have a new start file. Now you can delete this old text file here and now you should have the spigot and the start file. So what you wanna do is double click, open the start file, and like a command prompt window should open here. And now it should say failed to load property from file. It should say failed to load eula.txt, and that's okay. This is just saying that it wants you to agree to the terms and conditions and stuff. So just press any key to continue. Then you'll see there's some new files here, and that's good. So what you wanna do is open this thing called eula. You wanna open that. And you want to go here where it says false, you just want to change that to true. Once you do that, make sure you do file and save, and then you can exit out of that. Now, open your start file again, and your server should start to set up. Sometimes this will pop up, so if this pops up, just press allow access. And yeah, as you can see, it's preparing the spawn area. You can see the process of everything the server is doing. All right, as you can see, I finished doing the overworld. Now it's generating Minecraft the Nether. 
So that's what it's doing here, 42% done, as you can see. It will take a while the first time because it's generating the world, but once you start it up, again, after you first start it up, then it will be fine. All right, now, as you can see, it says done, and that means your server is up. So now what you wanna do is go into your Minecraft and connect to the server. Since I chose my server version as 1.16.4, I'm going to load up that version. Okay, so once you go to Minecraft, you want to go to multiplayer, and then you want to press direct connection. And where it says server address, you just want to type in local host. So when you type that, make sure no spaces, you will see it'll pop up a Minecraft server, and you just want to press join server, and wait for it to load terrain, and there we go, you are in your own Minecraft server. Now before you go, there's a couple things I need to tell you guys about. Now if you go back to your server console, you'll see that it'll say that you joined the game, which is pretty cool. Now if you go back to Minecraft and you try to do something like game mode, creative, you'll see that you don't have permission. Now here's how to give yourself permission. Just go back to the console and type OP, and then type your Minecraft username. Mine is MineBender9YT, so I'm just gonna type that. And once you type your username, just press enter, and it'll say made your username a server operator. So if you go back to Minecraft, as you can see, it said it made me an operator. And now I can do game mode creative and all that stuff. There's also some more commands like slash ban, um, like slash ban that, see, you are banned from the server. Oh no. Now I can't get back in, but if that happens, don't worry. You can always go back to your console and type unban and then your username. Boom. Oh, actually the command is pardon, I think. It's pardon and then your username. Yes, there we go. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to customize your server a little more. So um, what you want to do is go to your server and just type stop. Now this is how you stop your server and how you save it. So it might take a second, as you can see it says saving players, saving everything, press any key to continue, press a key, and you stopped your server. Now if you go to your server folder, you'll see that there's a lot more folders and files. Now in the future episodes, I'll show you guys how to use plugins and how to import your own worlds and all that stuff. But right now I'm gonna show you guys how to customize your server. So if you scroll down, you should see a file called server, sometimes it's called server.properties, something like that. You want to go to that file, and I'm going to use a program called Notepad++. I recommend it. Um, it's easier to see the code, and you just want to open that. And now you'll see all this stuff here. And don't worry, it's not as complicated as it looks. You can go through it and see force game mode or allow nether, so if you don't want them to go to nether, change that to false. So I'll do that, change it to false. And then game mode, you can make it whatever game mode you want. So if you want it to be spectator, if you want it to be spectator, you can do that. Um, set the difficulty, I'll set it to normal. And spawn monsters, maybe you don't want any monsters in your server, so you can set that to whatever you want. And you can just see all the settings here. Say hardcore equals false. Um, there's a lot of stuff, and don't worry about where it says server IP and server port. Just don't worry about that stuff yet. I will cover that stuff in a future episode where I'll go over port forwarding and all that stuff. Also, there's something called online mode, and basically that means if it's a cracked server or not. So I recommend setting this to true. True means that it is a premium server and only people who have Minecraft, who like bought Minecraft, can join it. But if you want it to be not online, if you want it to be a crack server, you can change that to false. And down here where it says MOTD, you can actually change the MOTD of the server. And that's what you see when you're first logging into the server. I'm gonna change that to a Mindbender 9 test server. So yeah, once you're done with your settings, make sure you file and make sure you file save, and then you can exit out of it. And once you do that, you can start up your server. And as you can see, it should be a lot faster this time because the world's already generated. It's already 80%. And any second now, it should be done. And it's generating the end, and it's done already. Go back to Minecraft, 
should say server closed if you were in it and then you stopped it but if you retry there you go you're in the game and now you can test some of the settings so in the servers.properties file i set it so you can't go in the nether so let's see if that is working all right so let's see if i light the portal let's see if you go in let's see if it works it's not working as you can see i can't go in the nether so that's good. So yeah, as you can see, I customized it in the properties file that you couldn't go in the nether, and now you can't. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next video, I will show you guys how to install plugins and how to make your server look really cool and add custom game modes and all that stuff. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye, guys!